Voila! <laughs> Congratulations on ice cream. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Like, your Miami fans went crazy when they found out this collab was going to happen. You know how they are. They start blowing up the Twitter feed. They start DMing you on Instagram. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we live for it and we love it. It's something that I've grown to love so much about the K-pop kind of genre. I've never... Selena, the Selenators are are the OGs of fandoms, but the K-pop, the like the Blinks, they yeah. have a whole Blinks. other audience. I mean, yep. their power is pregnant. I am not kidding. Like I posted, I posted just then, and within a day, I got a million followers, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's because they're so excited when they work with me, and I'm like, guys. hear Selena Gomez say she posted that she was working with you guys and she got a million followers. Oh. Did you guys know that? No, no. I didn't know. That's crazy. Facts. I mean, okay, so, so shout out once again to all of your fandoms. You guys really are absolutely incredible and we appreciate every tweet, every DM. Mm -hmm. It really is why I know you guys make the music that you make. So talk to me a little bit about this collab. How does this happen in the middle of quarantine? You guys are on opposite sides of the world. Like, how do we make this happen? So we had this well, song for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, there's <laughs> <laughs> No, we had this song for quite a while, and we, um, we really liked it, but I guess we were looking for the perfect person to fill in that little, you know, missing spot. Missing spot. Mm -hmm. and, and we somebody came up with Selena, and we were like, yes. Mm -hmm. Can we please have her on our yeah. song? Yeah. And, you know, and gratefully, she got back to yeah, us right away. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we heard her version, and then we just made the best out of it. And mm -hmm. there you go. We have a video <laughs> now, and it was the best. Yeah. I mean, it was such a blast. The song is such good vibes, and I think it's something that we definitely needed in summer 2020. Like we hadn't really been getting a lot of those like big kind of pop, fun summer vibes. So thank you. Oh, that's what we wanted like people, people to feel, so we're great to oh. hear you. Mm -hmm. people well, <laughs> you knocked it out of the park, ladies. Oh. Um, the video, though, I mean, like, it's not a Blackpink song without an epic video. Let's be very oh. <laughs> right? Oh. right? And we were all wondering what we were going to get from it. Mm -hmm. um, who came up with the treatment or the concept? Did you guys work on it together? So we the really treatment was yeah. was I believe yeah. the treatment went to you guys first. First, mm -hmm. yeah, because our director came through to the studio and we were just discussing what do you guys want for the video. So we were just throwing yeah. things yeah. here and there, and mm -hmm. then um, and I think they had more to do also in mm -hmm. in like all the dancing and all the other stuff. So the only thing that was really a bummer is just not being able to do with them. Um, while we did this, mm -hmm. but it was so organic and, mm -hmm. and we tried to make sure. Stuff, and I was just like, this is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I do the, the the video came out seamless. Honestly, when you watch it, like it, it, you guys are having so fun, Selena is having so much fun. But I want to ask, what was it like to be back on set? Like, was there mm -hmm. crazy creative energy? Was like the mm -hmm. team, like the production team, as excited to be back working? you know, making a video as you guys were? Definitely. Yeah, but what I, was it like for you guys? Um, I, I feel like as, as much as we are very um, trying to be careful and cautious of what's actually been happening, um, you know, we tried to go through all the steps um, so that everybody was safe. Um, but definitely because we had quite a long time to, um, under lockdown, it was a time for us to be, you know, back on our game, a game. and. We were all feeling very creative and mm -hmm. super excited. And we missed it so mm -hmm. much. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, just being able to be back and yeah. just be us, you know, it was a great moment. Well, it, I mean, it, it, my music like, videos are like boot camp. I'm like, <laughs> not? they do not play around. They're like, I'll touch something and the guy will be like, wash your hands. I'm like, <laughs> oh. I'm like, oh. that, that barely touched them. <laughs> they were, I, I, 
I get that. It was very COVID, but it was so militant. At the same time, I was like scared. <laughs> but it's good. I'd rather everyone be safe. Yeah, of course. But it's so fun. Yeah. That's why you guys are the pros, though, because you can't see any of that. Like, girl, you were giving us your '40s pinup vibes. Yeah. Like, we had the ice cream going, and I was definitely loving it. But I want to ask you, Selena, as a solo artist, having the opportunity work with to work with one of the biggest girl groups on the planet. Does it ever make you wish you had teammates to kind of shoulder some of the, the I don't want to say the burden or the baggage, but just some of the weight that comes with being at the level that all of you are on? Yeah, I'm going to give that to Ben. Ben. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, got her back now, so. Well, I'm sorry. Could you ask the question one more time? I'll edit that out. Like, do you ever wish that you had teammates? Like, you're a solo oh, artist. So oh. you're out there, like, you know, you're, it's, it's you. It. It's always you, whereas they kind of... I basically, I mean, I'm a part of their group now, technically. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, so, right. you know, yeah. like, it is, it's so nice to have people with you. You know, I think music can be lonely sometimes, and you're traveling a lot, and you do things. Um, but I think at the end of it all, it's like, you know, we'll we'll be able to get everything back, and we're just you know I'm excited that, and I'm hopeful for the future too. Yes. Yeah. No, and you definitely have an incredible team. I know you have your girls with you on your IG lives, and you definitely yeah. have there. I just think sometimes when I look at at the group situation, you know, it's it's you're creating together. When things come down, you know, you constantly have people on the road with you, which and we know girls can be a lot to deal with too. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you have sisters, right? You love them all the time, you don't always like them, um, you know, but that's a part of sisterhood, right? And, and at the end of the day, we hug it and it's fantastic. But I wanna talk to Blackpink real quick. The K-pop movement is growing exponentially. I mean, where you are from, obviously, you guys have always, or I should say, you've been known about, but what does it feel like now that it's kind of shifting to this mainstream you know, movement, like where everybody is excited for your music to come out. Everybody is waiting to see what that next video is gonna bring. Do you ever feel pressure or are you just like, yes, we're here, let's do it, let's represent? Um, I think, so we have, we had um, other artists that's been going um, overseas and doing what we're doing. So I guess we what, we grew up watching them thinking, you know, we, I, we, we wish to be the group that opens up the you know door for more um, other foreign yeah, artists to to you mm -hmm. know yeah, spread their music mm -hmm. you know because music is not yeah. just for your own country it's for the world mm -hmm. like everybody you know there, there is, is no language yeah. barrier there when it becomes music I really mm -hmm. heard that people take it in more as, yeah. you know, and I think we're just very, yeah, very lucky and time wise for people to reach yeah. us in different contents and. Because yeah. social media is so, you know, so much more open and there are so many different platforms Just now what, yeah. for people to access our music and our videos and mm -hmm. so I'm very grateful that that's there and mm -hmm. during this time of, um, you know, lockdown, I feel like more people are tuning in so we really hope that this yeah. could, you know, help other mm -hmm. foreign artists too as much as our fellow mm -hmm. K-pop artists mm -hmm. to, you know, kind of spread their music and, you know, make their dreams come true too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And I mean, and just their platform, just their presence throughout all of this kind of craziness, just the social media fandoms, I think it's helped bring a lot of awareness to the different groups too, which is absolutely amazing. And that's part of that relationship that you guys have with them. Um, I did want to ask too, when it comes to music and fashion, are there any particular artists, people, places that you ladies find yourself kind of pulling inspiration from? Because every video you give us, I feel like we get a different look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, with the girls, I mean, that was that was me stepping stepping in to that that world, and I had so much fun because I also got to let go of all the stuff that you know was me. Um, but I think these girls are going to be huge here, and I'm just I really do. I think that their their empowerment, how hard they work just the music videos, all of them that they've done. I suggest watching all of them because they're that good. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Just it's crazy that she says that for us because, you, know, you know, we're always... She's on one of, <laughs> she was one of our inspirations Seriously. to, you know, mm -hmm. create anything yeah, I, I from think the get-go. Like, so, yeah. 
Well, it's, but you know what I mean? It's like so cool to have your own and then like being a part of it with, you know, some other, like other people, but it's, it was just so interesting, honestly, down to the song, you know, I was like, this is, this is a good song. I was like, I hope I can do it justice, you know? No. Um, but we had a great time yeah. I and mean, it worked I was out. You did, you did great. I'm sure the ladies would definitely agree on that. I think one of the coolest things about watching K-pop grow is the fact that so many of the songs are sung in a different language, very much like Latin music has yeah. done for years, but it translates, you know? It does. You don't necessarily need to know what you're saying because we're feeling whatever the energy is that you're putting into those words and those lyrics. Yeah. That's it's a really exciting thing about what K-pop is doing. I know you guys are on limited time, so I do want to kind of talk a little bit about that quarantine. Selena, we've seen pieces of how you've been spending life. Obviously, I was talking to you about Selena X Chefs, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I'm so happy it was renewed. Um, you also have Rare Beauty, which is out now. That's so exciting. Yay. <laughs> I mean, my favorite part, gonna be honest with you, like there's there's a lot of different lines out. I'm a lippy fan. You have great matte lipsticks. I like the fact that you've incorporated a nonprofit element to Rare Beauty that you're donating. What I think a hundred million dollars. No, yeah, we're we're doing. Um, we're gonna try to raise a hundred million in ten years okay. for mental health. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's so incredible, and and it kind of ties into the other part about those fandoms that we talked about. As far as you go, Selena. You know, I almost want to say, well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Did your fans help you realize that it was okay to use your social media platform, you know, to talk about the causes that are so important to you, to talk about, you know, the importance of having the conversation about mental health, or were you looking out for your fans and going, you know what, we need to stop the stigma of making platforms to really start these conversations? Definitely, and I think that because makeup is such a crucial part of someone, you know, some girls can't even go places without makeup. And that's their choice for sure, but I wanted to create a line that was so easy and felt like, it just felt like everything melts in and together. And I was so nervous, because you know, it's like, oh, here goes another celebrity with a line. And that's just not what it was. I spent two years working on this, and I'm only looking over here because it's all there. It's really <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm very very grateful that there's there's things happening. Do you have a favorite product? Like, what is the first product that we need to get? The blush or mm -hmm. the lip souffle? Mm -hmm. So the blush is like a liquid, and we have them in. Um, we have some that are matte, and then others are glowy. So those, yeah, love. I'm here for it. I'm gonna have to ask Blackpink, do you guys have a favorite product? Have you sent, I feel like you sent them. Did you send them the package? I, we are. We, we are. hope it's, it's on its way. way. Yeah. Yeah. I've been dying to see the no, I know. I'm, I'm excited, excited for the soup video. <laughs> showed them the color that I actually used in the uh, music video. Because yeah. I've been using it lately more than ever. We saw well, the what camp. was the color you used on your lips, the red? So that was the red, and I think that's called the Inspire, but I call it mine. I just say it was mine with the Selena <laughs> color. I was like, I just the Selena color because it's um, it's my favorite. It's oh, literally okay. red, good red lip, but and then we did another one, and there's a bright pink one too, and oh, we tried that. Right. So the girls haven't gotten it yet, but we're gonna have them. We're very excited. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're gonna have so much fun with that. I know it, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be watching for it in the next music video. But real quick, before I let you guys go, can we? We just got major news yesterday. You guys have a documentary that's about to drop on Netflix. Yes. Yeah. 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 Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. It's gonna be so cool because so many people are gonna get to know them. You know, I think that's such a cool thing. Yeah. That grateful. is something that I've been doing during quarantine is watching documentaries. I live yeah. for them, I love them. It's something I've always wanted artists to do, so I'm so happy that so many of you are doing it. Mm -hmm. Ladies, we're so excited. Was this to follow you on tour? Like, is behind the scenes? So what are we gonna get in we this new documentary? We've been shooting we combined yeah, a lot of footage together. We've been shooting together. for the past yeah. one year. We've been yeah, preparing for this for the past one year. Mm -hmm. I think it has a lot of behind the scenes and also, 
They we tried to put really together a lot of footages that we had before our debut when we were growing up, so that you're gonna see a lot of aspects yeah. of us, and that's that's us being very vulnerable. I feel yeah. like for the first we're time. very shy when it comes to yeah. you know showing yeah. our in our pro like <laughs> any process that's of what we so do. Is exciting for your fans though they're going to love that oh my goodness i'm gonna be all over youtube like looking for the comments just because you know they will be giving them um and then you guys are also going to be avatars i heard like we're going to be able to use your faces yeah yes. and I, think, That's crazy. <laughs> I saw my little puma one and i was like oh my god <laughs> they, that's I mean, better than us yeah, yeah. That's, hey mama, we've made it, right? You can kind of like, when you Our have faces. your own avatars on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I get that to us. Um, okay, so as we wrap this up, the last thing I want to say is obviously we've mentioned your fandoms a lot. I would be remiss because there's none of them, unfortunately, here right now with us because obviously we can't do that right now. Um, but do you have any, you know, words of, of wisdom or positivity because that's my biggest thing at this moment in time i think we need to stop focusing on what's gone wrong in 2020 and really put our energy and our focus on positivity and ending things on a high note so we need to be speaking more of that into the world so do you have any words of encouragement words of positivity to leave your fans with that'll be watching and listening you know things that you love and admire about them that you'd like to thank them for i'm going to kind of turn the floor over to you guys so my my fans, I mean, some of my fans have, I mean, grown up with me. Uh, so I have this huge. Um, I feel like I'm involved in that <clears throat> twenty year old, you know, about kind of vibe. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't have COVID. <laughs> um, <sighs> damn it, no, I forgot the question. Your fans speaking they positive. Do. If all I can say to them is that. It isn't focusing, like you said, what's on the outside. And it is focusing on what you can do on the inside for yourself. And I think that's self-care, that's self-love, that's checking in with people, asking people for help. And, you know, that's something that's, that's very close to me. And thank you for using your platform to encourage people to do that, because the more we normalize that, the more we talk about doing that, the more people will feel comfortable coming forward and sharing their stories with each other. And that's really yeah. what it's about, community and being there for one another. So, Completely. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Black Pink, to the, to the links out there, do you have anything that you'd like to say in terms of thanking or, Definitely. you know, just words of, of inspiration and motivation for them in these crazy times? I feel like we have a lot of young um, fans out there as well. Um, we kind of grew up with them too, I guess. Not as much as Selena because I know you were out there for a long time, but we do I, we do know that we have a lot of young fans out there, um, young girls, boys too. Um, feel like um, we go through a lot of things, you know, being out there and being on screen all the time under the pressure like that. So we know what it feels like to be growing up. And so we hope that um, our fans can relate to us and just see us as sisters like all the sisters or <laughs> friends and that we can be a good support to them because we're all kind of growing up too right now mm -hmm. and yeah we just want to spread positive energy and good just vibes. joy to their lives. Yeah we yeah. really hope that. Yeah. And it's really great when they talk to us and they're like oh my god you we're, we you know we live because of you and when they say that you're like oh my gosh we have so much responsibility, you know, we really need to keep, you know, giving them music, giving them good stuff and good vibes because they really, you know, they seem to rely on us and we're very grateful for that, but then it's, it's a big platform to be on. <laughs> Well, you guys are doing, like I said, an incredible job. This is not me blowing, you know, smoke at you. You can see it in the way that they are with one another. They're a community and they support one another and they come together when they meet each other. And that's a reflection of who you are and what you represent. You know what I mean? So always take that with you that, that yes, you do have a big job. You know what I mean? You have to take care of yourself to what Selena said. Um, clearly your message is resonating with the young people who follow you. And I can only ask that you continue to do what you do because they are our future. And if they keep up the way that they're going because of people like you guys and, and like Selena Gomez, then our hand, then we're in very good hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
So thank you Thanks. guys. Congratulations on absolutely everything. Stay safe, stay healthy. Um, and hopefully when you guys are in Miami, when we're allowed to travel again, <laughs> we'll see you and come see us, okay? I we'll miss my you. Miami people. I <laughs> well, we'll miss you too, girl. <laughs> Thank you so for much. having us today. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.